car is going to be sold that day, jewelry, all kinds of things. Um, there's a real nice bass boat. So take a look at wilsonsauction.com and look at all the different ads. If you have any questions, maybe you've got some stuff you want to liquidate. Maybe you have an estate you're trying to settle. Maybe you got some land you want to sell, you know, because – you don't just have to go to and deal with Wilsons to buy something. Also, you can sell something through them. So their phone number is 422-3454, 422-3454. Please tell them I sent you. Dave Wilson, Wade Wilson, um, Albert, and uh, all the staff there, they do a great job. Been there a long time. Very good, honest, reputable place to deal. Wilsonsauction.com on the World Wide Web. Okay? Next, um, we had some trailer specials. Colin, believe it or not, they're actually working. My specials did. I had these three crazy specials. I mentioned them Thursday. And uh, they were good Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. One of them that's the most popular is it's a 6x12 landscape trailer. Uh, we've got the best price around. I, I say the best price in the tri-state area, at least the Delaware, Maryland, Virginia. Well, that's Delmarva, isn't it? That is. That, we call that Delmarva here. Okay, but I'm Welcome to Delmarva. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm going to laughs> anyway, it's a six by twelve landscape trailer. Uh -huh. It's a brand new 2015. Has a ramp gate, treated wood floor, 15 inch tires, white style wheels. We had it on sale for thirteen hundred ninety seven dollars. We've dropped the price from thirteen ninety seven to twelve eighty eight. Now this ends at <laughs> one today. Good little savings there, twelve hundred and eighty eight bucks. But then the deal gets just a little bit sweller at Weller's. So, okay, so you've knocked over a hundred bucks off of it right off the bat right from the get go. Yeah, so twelve eighty eight. Nobody's any less than that. We shop the shore and we've got the deal. But on top of that, we're just going to hand you brand new in the box a twelve hundred and fifty watt generator. Why? Because why are you doing this? You've got the why. best deal to begin with. Why are you doing this? Here's my logic. We have too much inventory, and we really, truly do. So I can only sell the trailer. Well, I don't know what else to do with it. <laughs> um, it can't be here at the end of the year, so we're right. just giving it away. So what I'm saying is I'd like to sell some trailers today. Uh, the economy is slowing a little bit. The uh, stock market and whatever Donald Trump mm -hmm. has to say about <laughs> things is really taking its toll. And last week was really slow. This week was really slow. And we need to stir things up. I can only sell the trailer so cheap. I can't knock another hundred dollars off of twelve hundred and eighty-eight bucks, okay? And I know twelve eighty-eight is cheaper than everybody else. Big box stores, little little mom and pops, we got the best deal. Right. So just on top of that, just as an added value bonus, it's like getting ketchup when you buy a hamburger. It's just an added value bonus, okay? And then when they say, "Would you like raw onions?" you're like, "Oh, this is over the top. I'm getting too so you much." Get the bill. And then they hand you a napkin. I mean, it just so that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to be like that. I'm the okay. this is the generators, the ketchup, and the mustard in the deal, okay? Okay. All right. <laughs> so the generator is absolutely free with the purchase. Now, the first thing people ask me is, "Can I buy the trailer?" Mm -hmm. Can I return the trailer, and can I keep the generator? Absolutely. You take trade-ins, right? <laughs> yeah, we'll take trade-ins. On trade -ins. used trailers. Right, right, because <laughs> once, once you sign it, it's your trailer, and then after that, it is a trade-in. Yes, you can trade it back in, and we will go from there. I bought a vehicle one time. They say you drive it around the block, and it goes down $1,500. Mm -hmm. So anyway, trailers are about the same way. Once it goes from new to used, it changes, right. no matter how much you do or don't use it. Anyway, 1288 bucks and a free generator, okay? Then I got a 6x10 enclosed trailer. This one's a 2014, so there's like a legitimate reason I want to get rid of this one. But is it new, uh, never it been titled? Never been titled, brand new, still okay. certificate of origin, full manufacturer's warranty. Six foot wide, 10 foot long, enclosed trailer with a side door, a stone guard on the front, and a ramp door on the back. You know, normally twenty eight, twenty nine hundred. I had it on sale for twenty five ninety nine. I'm just going to drop the price on that to my bottom, bottom dollar. This would be the same thing we would sell a used trailer for. It's twenty two ninety seven, two thousand two hundred and ninety seven dollars for a brand new six by ten enclosed trailer with a ramp door and a side door. So, with all that said, I want to say we also buy trailers. So every day we either trade in a used trailer. Or buy trailers. So if you also want a used trailer, we got a bunch of them out there. I don't know how many is a bunch, but there's a bunch. 20, 30, 40, 50. Really? Maybe. Oh, my gosh. It's terrible. Wow. Because when you get here, we're going to do all we can to not sell you that used trailer. We want to sell you a new one. But we will sell the used ones. We will eventually let them go. 
But anyway, I wanted to just talk about that. So uh, we do buy used trailers. You don't have to even buy anything from us. You can literally just come in and say, here's my trailer. It does need to be yours. That's the real big catch, okay? Like the title needs to be in your name. Not a good idea to borrow the neighbor's trailer, bring it and, in. And, and find his title somewhere and right. so on. You know, or if you bought the trailer somewhere else and never titled it in your name, that's called title skipping. I'm not allowed to trade that trailer in. They actually have a name for it, title skipping, huh? Because that's what it is. It's illegal. In other huh. words, you're 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 deceiving the Department of Transportation, basically, because mm-hmm. in other words, if you buy a trailer, that trailer should be registered and tagged in your name. Mm-hmm. If you leave it in the other person's name and get in some kind of a horrible accident or it comes unhooked or whatever, all of that can fall back on the person that sold it to you. That's why, as a seller, it's always a good idea to that little piece of paper at the bottom of the title. Correct. Fill it out, send it into the motor vehicle, right? right? But what do you think the person buying it always promises they'll do? Oh, I'll do it. Absolutely. Yeah. Now, it gets worse with cars because people will buy a car and not put it in their name, mm-hmm. keep riding around on the other person's tag, and then they get a red light traffic ticket. Oh, you know, I had a parking something. Parking ticket. I had that happen to me, and it was a little worse than that. Really? Yep. Somebody. I sold a truck to a guy. Okay. He was from New Jersey. Okay. Um, but he had moved down to this area. You had to say it like this. He was from New Jersey. <laughs> okay. I let you say it like all that. All right. New Jersey. Uh, okay. And, and you know, I did all the things I was supposed to do. I sold it to him, took his money, and and filled out the bottom of the title and sent it in. Oh, you didn't give it to him to send I it? I did not give it to him, no, but I okay. gave him the title. Okay. And I, I did the bottom. Uh, about a month later, police contacted me, Seaford Police. This guy had run over somebody and was in hit and run, actually hit a person, a pedestrian. Really? And the police were contacting me. And one of the first things they said was, we see that you sold this vehicle and, wow. and turned it in. The, and the, the officer said, it's a good thing you did because you would have been you the one been we were looking for. Right. So. Yeah. And people, I mean, we have people coming here every day wanting to trade in or sell a trailer. I hear that, don't you? It's the wind blowing. It is. Okay. Anyway, um, I we have it all the time where people want to sell us or trade in it, and they look at us like, what do you mean it was supposed to be in my name? Well, it's because you can't prove ownership, in other words. So um, we got a nice little fuzz buzz going on here, right? Yeah, but I think only we can hear it. I don't think it's going right. over there. Stop combing your hair, and it'll be <laughs> fine. I think it's electrostatic. It's not my hair doing it. Okay. Anyway. So anyway, so that's a good lesson for anybody out there. If you're selling anybody, a vehicle or anything that's titled, sure, make sure, make sure, make sure. Yep. There's uh, nothing worse than going to jail or getting sued or being held responsible for somebody else doing something with the trailer or vehicle that used to be yours. Hey. I still have a few kayaks. I do need to tell people about this kayak deal because it's going to end uh, next Saturday, the 29th, as a matter of fact. We got a bunch of kayaks, eight-footers. They're brand new. They're a brand called Sun Dolphin. They actually come with a paddle. The paddle's a $40 value. Uh, you look online, they're 200 and some bucks anywhere you look. I got them for $150. People say that's crazy. The paddle's worth 40 You're absolutely right. It is crazy. And that's why I'm going to quit doing it, okay? So if you want one of these, we've got them. We've had more people buy two at a time than people bought one at a time. Some people have bought four of them. So if you want a good deal on a kayak, if you're thinking about kayak and you want to get out, get a little exercise, you know, the weather's good. It's a great time to see different parts of nature and stuff like that. Um, I'm trying to make it sound as good as I can, even though I'm not a kayaker. But anyway, 150 bucks, can't beat it. Great Christmas gift. And I'm hearing this winter there should be a lot of snow. Mm. I believe that, you know, um, there will be certain times you can probably go out and pull these around with a four-wheeler, something we're going to consider doing. Okay? <laughs> we're going to have teams. Hey, if you right? want if you well, want <laughs> that reminds me of something. If you want to okay. see something funny, go to YouTube okay. and, and search for Urban Kayaking. Okay. Urban Kayaking. Check that out. It's pretty All funny. Right. That's what we're going to do. That's what do. it'll be. Exactly. Really? Is Walls open today? Walls is open today. Josh is there. Josh will be there at 8 o'clock. Okay. Uh, it is Saturday, so expect him to roll in at 8 o'clock. At 8 o'clock. Right. Okay. <laughs> so we, uh, we are a little more lenient on Saturday mornings, okay. and uh, it's a little more laid back well, he's atmosphere. he's a stock car guy. He is. He is. So, it, But he'll be, he'll be leaving tonight to go racing. They actually oh, okay. they won last week. Really? They Up won. Bridgeport? Bridgeport. That's there a big place go. to win. That is a big place, Bridgeport, New Jersey. Yep. So uh, wow. they're going at it again. Anyway, Walls Service Center. Okay. Uh, downtown Milford. We've been there since 1958. Check us out. Josh will be there at 8 o'clock, as I said. You can stop in. If you need any work done on your car, stop in, make an appointment, see if he might have time today. My can wife's you still car. still make them online? 
Yes, your you wife's can go to, car. What? My wife's car is there, going to be worked on today. So uh, she's hoping anyway. That is priority. Priority. <laughs> <laughs> Happy wife. Happy yeah, life. That's right. That's All right. Four two two eighty one ten. Four two two eight one one zero. WallsServiceCenter dot com on the web. Um, and we're in downtown Milford, right across the street from Abbott's Grill, right next to Bicentennial Park, which I call. Hey, did you do the run to go to ride? No, the but I thing? went by there last night, man. man. There was a ton of people there. It was amazing. I agree. It you was saw downtown. Them? Yeah, I was trying to go downtown. They had traffic all blocked off and everything. And um, I thought, man, I'm not getting caught up in this. I didn't know if it was a riot or what was going on. So I went another way to go where I was going. Now, that sounds a lot better. I just turned it down a little bit. But, yeah, they're not <laughs> hearing it over the air. So, <laughs> All right. Well, anyway, so Wall, Center, Wall Service Center has been around forever. 1958. 1958, my grandfather started. And I have some of the original paperwork from back then, too. It's really, really? Yeah, yeah. Wow. Yep, found an old bowling shirt uh, from 1959. No they were the league champions in 1959. So that's uh, wow. Yeah, that's that's a pretty big accomplishment. I would the, say that I heard the of team Milford. in 1959 was brutal. <laughs> they were tough. That's as, as tough as uh, kayaking in the snow. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, I do got another sponsor. I'm going to hit them right after the 7:30 hour. I want to tell you real quick. I got this neat little bag. Um, it's like a 28-inch long duffel bag. I just got a deal on them. I went to buy bunches of them. I got less than 50, okay? $9.97 if you happen to want one of them to carry your gym equipment in or just to carry your gear or stow your gear or whatever. It's a nice black bag. Duffel folds up and zips into a smaller size, easy to transport, and saves space. Everybody wants to save space. I've been watching them. Um, a lot of uh, Apollo movies and stuff like that. So saving space is real important. Are we taking a break now? We just started. Well, anyway, I'll be back in just a few minutes with Weller Does Del Marva. Stay tuned. Come see us. we got plenty of donuts until I get out there, and I'll be right back. At Delaware 105.9, we think talk radio means you get to talk, too. So don't be shy. We're not. <laughs> Seriously. And now, every Friday is First Timer Friday. Everybody's talking at me. If you've never called in before, tell us. Dan, Sumo, and Jared will move you to the head of the line. First Timer Friday on Delaware 105.9. That's what makes talk radio. Because you'll always remember your first time. <laughs> A beautiful weekend is on tap for us. We'll have sunny to partly cloudy skies today. A nice afternoon with a high of 83 degrees. Patchy clouds, comfortable tonight. Temperatures will fall to a low of 67 degrees overnight. Intervals of clouds and sunshine tomorrow. A high of 83 on Sunday. Monday with a mix of clouds and sunshine. Warm and more humid Monday. High 85. I'm Scott Bradford in the Delaware 105.9 Weather Center. Didn't see it earlier? Hear it here. From NBC News in Washington, this is Meet the Press with Chuck Todd. Sundays at noon. Then, hear radio's top two techies. I'm Dave Graveline, and I'll bring you Into Tomorrow. And so will she. I am America's beloved digital goddess. Kim Commando. TV's hottest talk, then radio's coolest tech. Sunday afternoons, Delaware 105.9. From the first town in the first state in the USA, we're WXDE Lewis. Delaware 105.9. News update. That attack on a high-speed train stopped by Americans headed to Paris. Sky's Joe Tidy. Dramatic footage from inside the train shows the suspected terrorist tied up and motionless in the aisle. Standing above him is one of the Americans hailed as a hero. Alex Galartos, a National Guardsman who was traveling with Spencer Stone. He's in the Air Force. When the gunman burst into their car, Scalardo says his buddy acted quickly. He jumped up, and I followed behind him by about three seconds. Spencer got to the guy first, grabbed the guy by the neck. I grabbed the handgun, got the handgun away from the guy, 
and threw it, and then I grabbed the AK, which was at his feet. The two, with help from college student Anthony Sadler, subdued the attacker. Spencer Stone was slashed by a box cutter, but did manage to help a passenger who was wounded in the, th the throat. Stone now in a hospital needing surgery. His friends phoned him. We called him. He's doing great. He's in good spirits. Yeah, he's in disbelief. It happened himself. CBS News Update. I'm Dave Barrett. Comments, views, and opinions expressed on the air at Delaware 105.9 are those of the hosts, callers, and guests, and not those of staff, management, or advertisers at Delmarva Broadcasting Company. The following program is a paid commercial presentation. The comments, views, and opinions expressed do not necessarily reflect the views of the staff, management, or advertisers of Delaware 105.9. All right, we are back. Hide my donut. <laughs> okay. Yeah, in your belly. <laughs> well, no, I hit it over here so it doesn't show up in the camera. Oh, okay. I wouldn't want anybody to see that. So, anyway, um, we're back. This is Weller Does Del Marva. We're live. Uh, they just told me one of these 6x12 landscapers is going out with the free generator. That wow, was that quick. was fast. <laughs> that, that was real. That there's was fast. A advertising advertising works. Yeah, advertising works. <laughs> so, um, it is one of the best deals you're going to get. So, if you've been thinking about buying a. That wasn't the only one? No, not that's the first one for today. But we had some yesterday. You have more than one you're doing that deal on? On that one, yeah. Yeah. Really? You were thinking it was just I one. thought it was one only. Right. Like one you only. had one that No, uh, there's probably a couple more of them in other words. So yeah, that's wow. it. Yeah, that's six by ten though, enclosed. There's only one. Okay. I look for that one to be gone. I want to talk about my good friend George Luff, Luff and Associates. They're my accountant, number one. But they also do our payroll. And they want to make it clear that if you own a business, it could be a small business, one or two people. And even if you have a business with one or two people, it, it's not a small business. Any business is very consuming. So whether you have a couple of employees or whether you have a bunch in the hundreds, they would like to talk to you about doing your payroll. And you do not have to do your accounting work with Luffs for them to do your payroll. They, of course, love to be your accountant. But I've had a lot of people, since we've been advertising, uh, talk to them about having them do their payroll. So we've been dealing with them for a couple years. It's really nice. They can take care of whatever degree you want. Like if you want them to take care of everything, um, I think short of finding you the employee, they don't do that. But W-2s or W-3s, your W-4s, uh, your I-9s, goes from W-2, W-3, W-4, all the way to I-9s. Then it goes to 940s and 941s. But all this stuff, direct deposit, your payroll checks, your federal tax deposit, your state tax deposit, quarterly reports, whatever you want, whatever degree you'd like their help, they would be glad to help you. Their number is 422-9699, 422-9699. Now, I've been dealing with them for 25-plus years. I'm dealing with George. His son is also getting involved, Tyler, and uh, they have a great staff there. And they have an office in Dover now. They have one in Milford, and then they also have one down in Rehoboth. So if you just dial the one number, it gets you to all locations, and they just are a good locally owned, family operated, uh, an accounting firm. They're CPAs. I went through an eight day IRS audit, and they did a great job for me. And I'm just happy. I'm just a happy customer, and I'm happy to say I would recommend Luff and Associates. So their number is 422 9699. Then on the web, it's Luff, and that's L U F F, CPAs.com. Luff, CPAs.com. All right, Colin, what is okay. next? Um, I want to say, if you just give us a call, 337-8228, 337-8228, do no more than call us. Say good morning. I'd like a flashlight. We will set one aside, a brand new 9 LED flashlight, complete with batteries, absolutely free, no purchase necessary. You get one by calling. We will reserve one for you, and you can pick it up today or any time next week. Okay, that. stop talking about the giveaways. Jack Riddle's okay. listening. Good morning, Jack. Oh, my gosh. Jack's listening. Let's not talk about what we're going to do to a side with Oh, okay. Because we know what we're going to do if everything goes good. Okay. There is also that element that we get there and something doesn't go perfect. And it's not really our fault. Concrete. It's, it's pavers really. or something like we that. We get there and they're pavers. Jack says my con my sidewalk's crooked, and we get there, and he's got forty seven pavers. And it's his house that's sunk on one side. <laughs> just <laughs> right. the it's not his sidewalk. Right, right. Because again, this is Jack explaining. He is a banker, not says. a builder. Oh, he is a banker. That's right. Okay. Well, anyway, he's just telling me either his house is crooked or his sidewalk's crooked, and one or the other. He wants it straightened. Dry Zone is a company I have been um, 
advertising for mm-hmm. and uh, rented them my big red barn and they're just a great company my gosh very um, professional they, and un- and they can get the job done unbelievable it's they'll like know the exactly what they they're do. doing and they are saying hey this is no big deal this is a right. walk in the park we to us it. it's it's yeah, something to we us, want to it's video like how it's in the world amazing you take because i used to have a pool and you know when the pool got first put mm-hmm. in we had so much cement around the pool then we decided to move the fence back a little bit more and put some more cement oh i thought and you then, wanted to move the pool over like three inches to the right no or i didn't do that but i should have is what i should you just have moved done. the house right but anyway but everywhere the cement met mm-hmm. after 10 15 20 years this piece was going up right. and this piece and if i had known about this this would have made a world of difference I would have never got rid of the pool. Really? I got rid of the pool over them pieces of cement not being level. Really? Scared to death. Somebody was going to trip and fall. Wow. Yeah. You weren't scared of somebody drowning in the pool. <laughs> no, you just scared somebody my worries. That was the toe. least of my worries. How <laughs> often do you have a lawsuit of that <laughs> compared to somebody tripping over a some A stub concrete? toe on your conscience would oh, just or be a terrible. Oh, skin chin. So anyway, <laughs> did I talk about the duffel bag? I did, didn't You I? did a little bit. You can hit okay. it again if you want. One more yeah. time. All right, these are a really good deal. These are like twenty five, thirty dollars. Is that online. a full size duffel bag? Yeah, it's twenty eight inches long. It is not twenty eight inches long at this state that it's in. No, but I can't open it all the way. But you know how it opens? What's this amazing? It's one of them bags that you unzip it, mm-hmm. and then it opens up, and then you unzip it more. Uh oh. So the outside perimeter is a zipper. Look at that. Now, does that look like twenty eight inches long? Wow. Yeah. That's almost as tall as me. <laughs> Okay, so anyway, it's 28-inch long duffel bag, $9.97, okay? So anyway, I just want to let you know we've got these, very limited supply. If you say, can I buy more than one, you can buy four or five or ten or twenty, but after they're going, they're going. I can't get any more. It was a one-time one time deal. So anyway, those are that. $9.97, I'll leave it laying on the desk for those watching at WellerDoesDelmarva.com. All right, next, I, did I mention the free donuts already? So we gave away free LED flashlights. I gave you all the details on that. The donuts are free. The coffee's free. The juice is free. And we even have free water. The store is open today till 1. I do have a real good deal on some interstate deep cycle batteries. Uh, Just so you know, I'm required to buy 300 of these a year. So I've really got to sell them cheap. If you uh, have a like a trolling motor or a boat or a camper or a, uh, a hydraulic dump trailer, that's why we got into this deal. Anyway, we have to buy 300 of them. It's a 600 cold cranking amp interstate battery, good quality battery with a nationwide warranty. They sell online for $121.95. I'm selling them for $99.97. $99.97. Why so cheap, you say? Because I have to sell 300 of them no matter what. That item there is not about making money. It's about just getting rid of the batteries. I have a question. Go ahead. If... You had a uh, like a marine store or something like that. You well, you know that that's price. a good deal. So well, they ought to look at buying them from me. That's what I was going to say. If you yes. have a marine store, you know that's a good price. The, the marine over. people. Dealers are welcome. That's what was my question. Okay. Yes, we will so if I wanted to buy these, twenty of them, right? If you sell interstate batteries, you will very quickly say that's a good deal. Right. Ninety nine nine. But we're selling to the public that cheap also. Wow. Yeah, I mean, just go anywhere and try to buy a 600 cold cranking amp battery. You're going to be $125, $130. Car batteries so, you can't even get for that anymore, no, Jim. No, $99.97. Right. I just, I mean, I'm just doing it to entice people to get in here and buy them. And, and this is an interstate battery. Interstate is the, uh, the I'm going to say they're the number I one battery. I think they states. I'm not, I really think I heard that somewhere. Not kidding. I really, really? think they're that represented. Wow. Yeah. And they also... Will, they also will go out into the world and find however many junk batteries they need to match the amount of new batteries they make. Wow. They don't use – in other words, they will recycle the mm-hmm. amount of lead that they use in a year. They make sure of it. Wow. Yeah. Or some companies – you know, what's that called? They're very energy conscious. Sure. Environment yeah. conscious. So, Interstate, good company. So, anyway. It's called sustainability. Sustainability. Yes. Is that what the word is? It's a is? buzzword, yes. It's a buzzword. Write All that right. one down. Write that one down. I want to talk real quick about Rick Fowler, no-nonsense office machines. Real good guy. He had a boat for sale. i got to find out if he still got this boat. But you can call him and ask him. He had a boat one time that he had bought and only used it like maybe one or two times. And it had like 10 or 15 hours on it. it a beautiful boat. And he had this unbelievable deal. And I just I can't help but think about it every time I do his ad. But I don't know if he's still got it or not. So he might have the boat. 
But anyway, Rick Fowler is no-nonsense office machines in Georgetown. He's right there on Route 9, two miles east of the circle, east of the circle, right next to Sports at the Beach Complex. Been around, I don't know how long. I've been dealing with him 25-plus years. He sells us our copiers. He services them, maintenance agreement, um, keeps up with the toner, everything, everything about it he does. But he also sells laptops and tablets and computers, fax machines, gaming systems, printers. Uh, so pretty much anything electronic in your office, but he also does work on things electronic. So if you have a question, I'm not talking about toasters and waffle makers and stuff like that, but I'm talking about electronic type machinery. So if you have any questions, you give him a call. If you want to just stop in, he has a real nice store. He's got display cabinets and all kinds of stuff. But he also, if he sells you a used computer or he sells you a used tablet or a laptop, he has serviced it. He knows that it works. It's not like some places that just get them and resell them. He makes sure what you get is right. But he also sells new. He also sells used. And he's always buying laptops, too. So if you have a laptop you like to just sell, you're done with it for the season or the reason, he will take it off your hands. So who is this? Rick Fowler. It's No Nonsense Office Machines. 856-7381. 856-7381. Like I say, Real good place to deal. I've dealt with them for years and years and years and years. Both of us were just young men when we started, and we're still young men. Have you ever seen any of the aluminum trailers we have out there? Uh, yeah, I have. The company we sell for is a brand called Aluma, right. and they do not make an equipment trailer up till just now. They just started. so like Just up, this minute? Like just maybe a few minutes before the show, okay. maybe even a week or two before okay. the show. But it used to be if somebody wanted like a 14,000-pound rated trailer mm-hmm. to haul a skid steer loader on. Right. Um, they didn't make one that heavy. Now they do, and we just got one in. Really? It's beautiful. And where that's really important is people used to have, like, F-350 pickups. Right. And now they've got F-250s mm-hmm. or F-150s, but yet they want to haul a skid steer loader, but they don't want to have to. They only haul it once in a while, so they don't want to have to buy such a heavy-duty truck to haul it. Right. They can still use an F-150 because this trailer is so light but yet rated at 14,000 pounds, it can carry the payload that it needs to, but it weighs less. So with an aluminum trailer, you're virtually maintenance-free hmm. because this trailer is an aluminum frame, aluminum ramps, aluminum fenders, and an aluminum floor. A lot wow. of aluminum trailers come with a wood floor. Right, which this increases the weight. changes the weight, and it changes the longevity of things because that floor will eventually rot. Right or chunk up or something like that if you're loading a skid steer loader. Mm-hmm. These are beautiful trailers. They come with what's called torsion suspension, radial tires, a nice-looking custom aluminum wheel. And so we got one in. We just got it the other day, a 14,000-pound rated aluminum equipment trailer. I think it's either an 18 or 20-foot long. I mean, we just got it. So I just wanted to mention that if you're a contractor. Or I think we even got a tilt bed equipment trailer, and then we got some single-axle trailers and so on. So mm-hmm. Aluma. Aluma, Aluma. They have radial tires compared to some brands have non-radial. That's a, that's a pretty big deal, too, especially when you're something that heavy. But, oh. But just on a, even on a regular trailer, the one of the first differences you'll notice is if your trailer's been sitting for a long time. The thump, thump. Yes. Isn't it'll actually nice? get flat spots. Oh, my gosh. And thump, thump. And the tires <laughs> don't handle the road as good. Right. They wear out quicker. And so on. We have a guy, uh, one of my advertisers, Jerry Santoro, for years and years, he'd buy tires and tires and tires. And we switched him over to radial tires. And, man, it's made all the difference. We don't see him as much. Right. In other words, we had to hire him to cut our grass so we could see him weekly. (laughs) So, anyway, stop in and take a look at the Aluma trailers, whether you need one for your golf cart or your four-wheeler or your skid steer loader or whatever. They now make equipment trailers, Aluma trailers. All right. What is next that I want to talk about? Um l and Insurance, let me hit them real quick. I have a guest going to be on uh, between 8 and 8.30, Mary Ann Walters, and uh, we're going to talk about something very near and dear to her heart that's going on. She's very involved in, and we're going to talk about it. But l and Insurance is my insurance agent. Uh, they sell me health insurance, life insurance. They sell me uh, my auto insurance, my homeowner's insurance, all my liability insurance, workman's compensation, whatever I, I may need. So if you are out there and you – own a business or you own a house and you already have insurance, that's great because they like to give second opinions and uh, another quote. 
Um, it's really just a good idea to deal with an independent agent. That's what they are. They uh, really pride themselves on that. And what that means is they don't sell just one brand of insurance. So when it comes time to get a quote or shop your insurance, they can talk to you about different brands and the strong points and the weak points about each brand. So they were sharing with me, you know, if they only sold one brand, then they would only be working for the insurance company, not their customer, because that's all they sell is one brand. But when you sell multiple brands, you're an independent agent, and you're literally working for your customer at that point, and you're just trying to get them the best insurance value for their dollar. So if you need insurance, um, I know a lot of people that deal with them. They've been serving Delaware for over 60 years. It's called l w Insurance Agency. Good company. Their phone number is 856 856- 7828 that's 856 7828 like i say if you have insurance that's fine give them a call and say hey i'd like to get a quote i'd like you to review my policy i'd like you to tell me if you were selling me insurance is there anything different you would offer or suggest again it's 856 7828 and on the web it's lwinsurance.com lwinsurance.com so anyway colin wall <laughs> service center is open today wellers is open today it's going to be a busy day. You want to try to take a caller? Sure. Just for the fun of it? I don't Just think for I've the ever fun done that. All right. Well. So if you're listening Frank. right now and you want to call in and say good morning, um, do it. That's What's right. Fran number? is ready. He's already told us that the phone lines are working. They're open. What's okay. the number, Jim? 839-1059. We're going to say 105.9 1059. since that's how they brand their station. All right. So we don't normally take callers, but today we're going to take one right now if you feel like it. 839-1059, you could be one of the first people to ever call Weller Does Delmarva. Call now and say something. So maybe you've dealt with Wellers, maybe you've dealt with Walls, maybe you want to deal with Wellers and Walls today. Today is your day, 839-1059. Now, I did mention the store is open. We opened at 7. We're going to be open till 1. Brooks is off for the day, so if you had your heart set on dealing with Brooks, you can deal with his brother Brandon. He is here. Jason's out there in sales, and um, then we've also got Earl i got to get Jason in here. He went to a sales class this week. Really? And he told me all about... Some, what did he teach? What did he teach? He went to observe. Oh. To absorb. I thought he was teaching No, i got to get class. him in okay. here. i got to go all find right. him. Here he comes now. Grab one of these microphones, Jason, and tell us about these sunglasses. Oh, it was a course on glasses. Listen to this Course story. on sunglasses? Do we have a caller? No? No. All right, then let's yep. move on to Jason Troyer. Yeah, we have a caller. Oh, Jason, you've been <laughs> bumped by the caller. All right. All right, caller, are you there? Hello. Good morning. Is this Vicky? And what are we doing? good morning. Jason, are you messing up the caller? <laughs> right. We can't hear the caller, friend. So. Hey, there we go. There we go. Who we got? Hey. Vicky. Good morning, Jim. How you doing today? Hey, Jim. Yes. I'm good. How are you? I'm good. We missed you yesterday. Can you hear Sorry me? Sorry about that. <laughs> oh, all right. Well, yep, it wasn't I the can same. Hear you. We debated whether to go on with the show or not. This would be Friday mornings at Jimmy's Grill. Vicki and uh, Charlie. Charlie. Yeah, Charlie. right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Vicky and Charlie. But anyway. <laughs> well, thank you for calling us. What's on your mind? Well, I figured I'd try to be the first one to call your show. You know, I think you might be. I, I just want to be the first one to call your show. Well, thank you very much. And um, <laughs> you have a good, safe weekend, okay? We listen every Saturday. Well, good. Thank you. Okay, you too. Take care. All right. Jason, you want to tell us? Bye. That's on. you got to stand up straight. Uh, straighter. There you Is go. That How's that? That's See how great. it worked? Awesome. Okay. You went to a sales-related course. Yeah, it was about um, leadership and managing. You got about five minutes. Tell us about these glasses is what I want to know. So it was about leadership and managing. Correct. And it drifted off into some crazy conversation (laughs) about glasses. Well, it was talking about how how hard it is for somebody to create a good habit. Okay. And it it started, I guess, um, with NASA. They made these glasses to make sure people would be able to withstand going into space. Okay. And so they had these glasses that would make everything look upside down. And they made so, these glasses on purpose. Correct. They and made them on purpose. Since it was a government thing, I'm sure they were very expensive. Oh, I'm sure. Okay. <laughs> and so uh, they would make these people wear them all day long for 30 days. Night and day or just during the day? Well, it was during the day. I'm sure they wore them at night until they went to bed and then they had to take them off. But, they did. But, but anytime their eyes were open, they had to have these glasses on. Okay. And so 
they said the neatest thing happened after about 25 to 28 days. They went insane. <laughs> they, I would have gone insane. I would have been okay. throwing up sick as can be. So what but, you're saying is whatever they were looking at, they could see it. Right. It was, it was like, just upside down. Correct. It was like normal glasses. Like they could see out, but they were like convex or whatever to where it was reflecting to where everything would then appear upside down. So really? the sky would be where the ground is, and the ground would be where the sky is. Okay. And so after 25 to 28 days, their brains actually started to flip everything back. Really? So even though the glasses were showing them upside down, they were starting to now recognize it the right way up because their mind was, was changing. Uh, I see where forward. this is going. Do you? And, yeah, this is where. They walked off a cliff. This is, well, <laughs> what is, this is how it relates to sales. I can, I can predict it right now. Brooks is con is trying to convince you that everything he's doing wrong is right, and you're starting to see it that way now. Is that that's, that's right. That's exactly it. <laughs> so now that's I see quick. That's good. good. <laughs> now we yeah. understand everything. Yeah, exactly. Brooks has been to this class before you did. <laughs> so, uh, okay. so Brooks is doing a great job now. Great job, right. right. Now you see it his way. Right. Absolutely. So, All but, right. but the, uh, so that's how long it takes to create a, a good habit. Only yeah. in an astronaut. But well, no, and, and other things too. But okay. but the bad part is, is once he took the glasses off, within you know seconds, it went right back. Really. So you still have to keep on working at it as well. Okay. So and and to create a bad habit takes like only three times to to create a bad habit. So, really. Oh yeah. So. That be, could, because that's your your. Well, that natural, could happen in one sale. It could. That <laughs> customer could have three. He could have a bad habit before the sale's over with. Because yeah, your bad habit It's not really be... about the customer, is it? <laughs> it's about employees. It is about the employees, yes. Right. But fortunately, we don't have any employees that any of this would pertain to. Absolutely not. They're all perfect anyway. Right. So, Just ask them. That's right. Right. All right. So anyway, uh, did you find that interesting? I thought it was very inter in interesting. Interesting. <laughs> I can't even talk today. Did they have any speech classes? Yeah. No, they didn't. Okay. Right. So uh, what else did you learn? Uh... There was the uh, how to uh, punish your your people as far as the you know, first would be like a verbal, uh, then a written, you get in their face then, and cuss then, them a, out. then a final one. I think we're going to call it discipline, and then, <laughs> not punishing. And I'm going to call it punishing because that's really what it that's really what it is. It's not a daycare here because because the, the fourth one is is then termination. But depending on how how bad the situation is, you're not allowed is, to fire people anymore. <laughs> how bad the, the situation is, you can't actually skip steps. Oh yeah, really? Like, you're allowed to as an correct. employer. So so if so if Johnny came in and he decided to shoot somebody, you know right. you wouldn't just. This is your verbal. <laughs> oh, you don't have to go through the chain you, of. You can't, don't shoot okay. anybody you, else. You can't shoot anybody here. Okay. Yeah. Look, you could skip. You only have two more people that you can shoot. Because <laughs> <laughs> the next that, time you're getting fired. Right. right. That's it. Okay. So, All right. so you are allowed to to use judgment Sorry. there. So of course, so, if, so what exactly did cops. you learn though? About punishing people, about punishing that you can people, skip steps. That well, no, that you can. That the how you're supposed to really do it, as far as you know, we, you know, I, I feel like a lot of times, you know, you may say something out of anger or whatever. So you know, you, you need to do your verbal first and explain to them what you're expecting, and, and that way they can change and, and so on. And then if that still doesn't do it, then then there's a next step. But again, if it's What's something that next step, you keep saying there's another. Well, step. then the next step was your your written Smack them? your written warning. Written. Right. So the first one was verbal, then the second was is written. Okay. But then there's a, a third one where it's like this is this is your last shot. That's it. And if, if you don't change it or fix it from this, then. But uh, Jim, this sounds different. just like the stories you've told about Maypop. He went through the same thing, didn't he? Yes, he did. First time he would hit you in the knee. Right. <laughs> second time he, he hits you in the head. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> oh. And then he would put you out in the parking lot stones, so late at quit. night, <laughs> sorting the big gray stones from the small gray stones. And you had to come in like at 2 in the morning and leave at 4, and trust me, what you would do is quit. My, and how times have changed. My, <laughs> how times have changed. I was a kid. I thought he was ingenious. I was like, this is ingenious. You know, because you, your ultimate goal is just to get the person to quit. Well, just say, I'm out of here. Your, well, your ultimate goal is to get them to to change. Oh, to change. Okay. That to change. His goal was to, to so it's get a manipulation. To it, it is. Okay. <laughs> so you're yeah. learning to manipulate people. Well, and the whole reason we talk less. Uh, right. And the whole reason the the people are even here is to so that you can all to be manipulated. So that you can all accomplish more. Correct. So right, especially when you're in a sales-related business. Correct. 
Right. Right. So, I mean, if you take, you know, like when you were when you were out there selling, you could only sell so many people because that's all a certain person could do. Hi. So the MC. goal would be that as you Hi. have more people, right. that then you'd be able to sell even more people. Really? So, and then if those people aren't. You sound like that, you're selling you me some multi-level marketing thing now more people and then more people and then more people and but it's right. the bottom line is it's all about serving the customer in the end right. and, and taking care of the customer and putting uh, your best employee forward right and that way everybody has the, the best service and i think what you're saying there. is every employee has potential everybody has potential everybody they don't even have to be everybody. an employee to have potential well everybody, everybody. that's here today <laughs> There's some employees that aren't here that we're not sure what their potential level right, is. So. Right, So you're saying he's everybody that's some. here today. <laughs> I mean, he's gotten to me to see his way. So. Oh, right. Brooks, he's, yeah, that, so he's, them glasses are working. He's getting very, he has to see that the wrong questions. way is the right way? Correct. Okay. Brooks is very persuasive. Also, he can be intimidating, his stature, okay, his muscles. In other words, he can make you nervous. Oh, absolutely. When he gets all he's, upset he's very and everything. Tall and he gets red. Right. Gentle giant. Gentle giant. Gentle giant. He's like a big teddy bear. He is. Actually. Big teddy bear. So you get him up tight, boy. We do love Brooks. He's a we great guy. We do love Brooks. Right. Is so, he here? So or we, should we stop talking about him since he he's might not be here? Listening. <laughs> he might be the next caller. Right. <laughs> he might be the next caller. Uh, All right. Anything else, Jason? I guess that's it for now because i got people over here staring at me now. So. Uh, yeah. Well, you're taking up their mic time. <laughs> that sounds like it. Okay. All right. All right. Thanks a lot. So Jason went to a sales course. He learned a lot. Mm -hmm. We're all excited. And we'll see how it all shakes down. Right. It's been a great half hour. We've Is taken our first here? caller. Are you getting hot? No. Man, I'm over here sweating like crazy. When he talked about employees and manipulating, I'm like, <laughs> I had no idea what he's talking about. I've never heard of such a thing. So it's all about manipulation, to be quite honest with you. But it's also about giving good service. Right. And Jason is just trying to do a better job because as I get older, Jason and all these guys here are going to be the ones that – take wellers to the next level there will be less beatings at wellers <laughs> when, when jason takes over when jason takes over that's right <laughs> so uh but you know just like with your kids you're not supposed to discipline them when you're upset just like right. with an employee you need to calm down mm -hmm. and then analyze it and so on because we are all in it to win it and we are all a team right so. and what well, that's what i like about wellers team is that you guys are going on and getting education to yes. to help your customers better and to help your employees better right and that's what we're trying to do we're trying it's called continuing education mm -hmm. i guess Everybody's doing it but me. And then right. I get it from Jason. Well, you got to start your education to continue it. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> so you got to start somewhere. <laughs> right. All right. What is next? Uh, Mary Ann has arrived. We're going to have her on right, right. after the 8 o'clock hour. The store is open. We're still giving away free donuts, coffee, and uh, juice and water. And um, I got them three trailer specials. I'll talk about that next half an hour. Got a big announcement to make. And um, just a lot of stuff going on. We're selling a lot of kayaks, too. Yep. And right this minute as we speak, we're selling a trailer. Yep. We done? Yep. CBS right. News coming up. All right. We'll be right back. That grand place in Oral Petroleum with Andy Cannon. And our program brought to you in part by Ricky Williams and RL Irrigation. An open microphone for you to talk every Friday. Jimmy Scrillville will see you there this Friday on Delaware 1059. From the first town in the first state in the USA. and started cutting Spencer behind the neck. He nearly cut his thumb off. Spencer held him, and we eventually got him under control. He went unconscious, I think. An official from Spain says the suspect had traveled to Syria. It's not clear that this train incident was a terror plot being carried out. In this country, a confrontation at a federal building in New York City, a man who'd worked for the Department of Labor Statistics came in 
shot a security guard dead then, says the NYPD's James O'Neill. He proceeded through the security area and headed towards the elevator where he encountered another employee. At this point, the suspect shot himself in the head. The suspect is dead on the scene. Officials have no motive for this murder-suicide. With the Wall Street sell-off this week, you may be reassessing this weekend. Anyone going online to check their stock holdings or retirement account may feel a bit panicked, but investment advisor Michael Farr has a warning. This is not a time to start panic selling. That's a great way to lose money. Emotion is really the greatest foe of the long-term investor. The old rule is simple, buy low and sell high. Advisors in general tell their clients don't sell when values are low. Dan Raviv, CBS News. In Pamum John, a meeting today involving officials from both North and South Korea. That's after both sides went on alert, and that's after South Korea used loudspeakers to shout propaganda across the border into the North. In this country, a couple hundred U.S. Army personnel will help firefighters in Washington State this weekend, but firefighting researchers are, are stretched thin. Officials have asked for some volunteers. Butch Pierce has signed up. I'm 69 years old, and I've seen a lot of stuff in my lifetime, and I'm telling you guys right now, you have never seen anything like this. When that fire is coming towards you, it is, it, it's like Armageddon. The winds are supposed to ease today in that part of Washington State. When Michael Jordan went into Basketball's Hall of Fame in 2009, Dominic's and Illinois Specialty Grocery honored him using Jordan's image and offering a coupon for a couple of bucks off the purchase of steak. Jordan, very protective of his brand, of his brand. He sued. Former Bulls star won an $8.9 million judgment. I'm very happy with how the courts decided the case. Uh, it was never about money. It was all about just protecting my name and my likeness. This is CBS News. Advance Auto Parts knows Check. what makes one, a two. car guy one, a two. car Brandon, guy. Can you hear it's it, the Ari? commitment to maintain an engine through the 300,000 mile mark. It's burning the midnight oil to finish a job most guys would rather hand off. It's loyalty, and it's why there's speed perks from Advance Auto Parts. Spend 100 and get $20 off your next qualified purchase. No cards, no points, no nonsense. Advance Auto Parts, for guys who love getting under the hood. See store to sign up or visit speedperks.com for details. If you can't see the difference, why pay the difference? Switch to DISH and see what real value is. Call 877-249-6988. You can also save a bundle when you combine DishNet high-speed internet with your TV service. Call 877-249-6988. Programming starting as little as $29.99, plus access to thousands of movies and TV shows. Stream to your TV, smartphone, or tablet. Call 877-249-6988. Say goodbye to the cable guy and get DISH today. An ugly incident in baseball took place a half century ago today. It is arguably the most notorious fight in baseball history. The Dodgers and Giants were battling for first place. The two teams were bitter rivals, but no one expected a fight involving a bat. Richard Fennell was at the game. It was a surprise to see Juan Marichal use his bat on Roseboro's head. John Roseboro suffered a two-inch wound requiring 14 stitches. Juan Marichal was given what amounted to a 10-game suspension. The two would later become close friends. Steve Futterman, CBS News, Los Los Angeles. Hurricane Danny with 100 mile an hour winds. National Weather Service says. Right now, the interest in the Leeward Islands and the Virgin Islands should be monitoring the progress of Danny. And in fact, tropical storm watches will likely be required for portions of those islands sometime later today. Dave Barrett, CBS News. Kid, let me paint you a picture. Tuesday night, your cog belt goes bust. Who will help you get what you need fast? Without the hoops, hurdles, or headaches? Granger, that's who. I love Granger. They got a wide variety of products and solutions. Granger makes it easy to get everything we need and answers for when we're not sure what the answer is. Now, kid, let me paint you another picture. It looks like a mop, a basement bathroom, and you all over it. Get it? Got it? Good. Call clickgranger.com or stop by. Granger, for the ones who get it done. Geico applauds your inner road name. A slow clap goes out to your biker alter ego. You might be mild-mannered Michael in the office, the guy known for raising his hand in meetings, but out on the open road, it's Motor Mike. Geico supports you and your bike, Motor Mike, because beyond cars, Geico insures motorcycles, those glorious vroom vroom machines. With 24-7 customer service and great rates, the only thing you'll be raising from now on is a heck of a good time. So head out on the highway and make that road yours, Mike. Make it yours. Geico Motorcycle. See how much you could save. 
program is a paid commercial presentation. The comments, views, and opinions expressed do not necessarily reflect the views of the staff, management, or advertisers of Delaware 1059. Okay, okay, okay. We are back. We are live. We are open. The store is busy. We're selling things. And there's people out in the showroom, and you're listening to Weller Does Del Marva. So we're sitting right inside Weller's Utility Trailers on Route 13 in Bridgeville. Phone number is 337-8228. Were you getting ready to say something? Well, we're not actually in the trailers. We're in the store. Oh, that's a good point. Right. Okay. We're sitting inside the store that's at Weller's Utility Trailers in Bridgeville, okay? Just to be specific, or what is that called? Politically correct. Yes. Right? Whatever you want to call it. Whatever I want to call it. All right. So anyway, but we're giving away donuts, coffee, juice, bottles of water. Uh, buying a trailer is optional, but if you just want to get something for free, you can. Uh, I also said if you call the store, 337-8228, and just say, hey, I want one, mm -hmm. we'll give you one of these really nice aluminum. Um, what's it called? A solid aluminum design. So it might not even be a aluminum. It might just be just a solid <laughs> aluminum design, okay? <laughs> but anyway, it's an LED flashlight. includes batteries, absolutely free, but you have to call on the phone and say, I'd like one of them, and then pick it up today or pick it up one day next week, okay? You can only get mm -hmm. one. No and you have to necessary. bring your own aluminum magnet to test the aluminum. Yes, right. right, or just presume it's aluminum or plastic, okay. one or the other, all right? So the store is open. I said that. We sold a trailer already. I said that. I got the three trailers on on sale. I want to make sure I mention them real quick. One was a brand-new 6x10 enclosed trailer. Um, it just is a 2014. It's the only thing. It has a side door and a ramp door. Was twenty five ninety nine. I'm just dropping it down to my bottom dollar, which is twenty two ninety seven. And you would say, "Wow, I see used trailers for that price." Yes, you do. So that's a new trailer at a used trailer price. The one we're selling or just sold is a six by twelve landscaper. It's a brand new two thousand fifteen. Had them on sale for thirteen ninety seven. Dropped them one more time to twelve eighty eight. And then we're also going to give you a twelve hundred and fifty watt generator free. And all these off. afternoon that's 1 p.m not 1 a.m then a 16 foot landscape trailer i got one maybe two of these left it's a 2014 brand new trailer has two axles brakes on both axles has a ramp gate a treated wood floor a breakaway switch have them on sale for 22.97 dropped it another hundred and some bucks to 21.88 and that one i'm going to give you a 4,000 watt champion generator 520 dollar retail value free with the purchase of the trailer and people say well why don't you just sell the trailer for less i can't sell it for any less that's as low as i can go but the generator's just sitting there doing me no good so if i could give you that generator to entice you to buy the trailer i'm willing to do it 2188 for a 16 foot landscaper i've only got no more than two of them left so you got to get on in here by one o'clock today all right next is who do i want to talk about i want to talk about mid-south audio real quick um, they do a real good job at providing sound equipment i don't quite know how to describe everything they do i was overwhelmed i went to their place and kevin kevin short the owner gave me a tour and showed me all that they have so if you're having a concert could be inside or outside it doesn't matter they they have stages they could provide a big stage like that comes in with a tractor trailer or smaller stages or platforms or things like that they could provide all of the amps and the speakers and the wires and the sound boards and the microphones and lighting um, pretty much whatever you need to have any type of a concert or event like that. Also, if you are bringing in a speaker just to speak to your employees and you need a microphone and some kind of an amplification system with a speaker, they also have portable sound systems they can help you with. If you need somebody to actually run that, they can do that. If you're having a company picnic and you need a way to be able to communicate to everybody while you're doing that and you just need some uh, amplification or speakers or microphones or whatever, they provide the equipment. They provide the people to run it if you want. If you already own some equipment and you've got a church or a business that has some uh, equipment like that and you've had an electrical surge or a lightning strike and something's not working just right, they can also help you with that. So locally owned and operated, real good company, been around for years. Kevin Short, it's called MidSouthAudio.com. They serve Delaware, Maryland, Virginia, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, New York and pretty much wherever you want to send them to go. So uh, they're not a music store, though. In other words, they just rent and service, you know, big equipment like this or this type of equipment. Also, they have a full service recording studio. So if you want to go there and sing and make a song or something like that, or if you need anybody to play instruments for that while you're singing, they've got the instruments, and they probably can provide the people to play them too. So it's MidSouthAudio.com. 
dot com eight five six six nine nine three eight five six sixty nine ninety three now i've got two people with me today and we are going to talk about something very serious very important but very worthwhile getting involved in and that is the als association and i have mary ann and uh, mary ann walters good morning to you hi use that morning jim good morning how you doing fine thank you how was the ride over see any deer no okay None, did you see any tourists <laughs> yeah <laughs> okay and i've got bill good morning all the way from greenwood bill o'brien yes thank you for having us how's it going going good good um either one of you can talk um tell us what you what you want um you're involved with i would call it um a big walk that's coming up but beyond that walk this is an ongoing organization that both of you seem to be very passionate about being involved in. Yes, we are. Okay. Yeah, we have our our uh, 2015 ALS walk to uh, walk to defeat ALS is coming up on, on September 12th. It down is. at Rehoboth Beach, right at the bandstand. Wow. <clears throat> and where do you walk? Do you walk down the boardwalk? It's a two mile walk on. Oh, the, really? On the scenic boardwalk. No kidding. So yep. it'd be just a nice family event anyway, yeah. just for just for the 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 experience of the event. Yeah, we start right off at the bandstand. That's, okay. that's where we do all our uh, talking presentation. Okay. Uh, that's where the teams form. That's where they start off, where, uh, where we do the walk. Uh, we leave the bandstand. We go out and do a two-mile walk on the boardwalk. Uh, we go down to one end, turn around, come back, go down by the Atlantic Hotel, turn around, come back, okay. and then we finish off with uh, Nicola Pizza and Turkey Hill drinks. No kidding. Wow. Now, can kids be involved in this? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I mean, so, like, could a family um, yes. say, look, we're going to go do this. You Definitely. know, the husband, the wife, the kids, <clears throat> and go go make we a little like adventure that. of it. Yeah, Take pictures. So. be something to remember, you know? Yes, right. we have Sound Stations Productions uh, DJ. Oh, he, really? He keeps us busy out there. We get to play the shirt game and do oh, a dance really? off. And, okay. and then uh, he brings out his photo booth, and we have a great time doing photo no booths. Kidding. We get to put on the little shirts, the hats, wow. the glasses, and... You get to have fun. It's a great family event. Now, this overall, the underlying reason for this is because we want to try to raise some money. We want to is raise that, money to right. fight ALS. Correct. And this is our way of doing it. Right. Uh, we started these walks in 2008. Oh, so it didn't happen before then? No. No. Wow. Okay. They said okay. they couldn't get anyone to do it. Okay. So after so, my husband, Gene, died, okay. he had always said, you know, I know you can't find anything to take care of me, but don't. Focus forward. Yeah, you know, don't let this drop. Look okay. for something. Wow. So that was the only thing I could think of doing. Mm -hmm. And um, I contacted the national organization, and they put us in contact with the Philadelphia organization, and they explain some things on how you could do this okay so very blindly you did it i started off doing it and the first year we made thirty thousand dollars okay and every penny that we make here in delaware stays in delaware oh that's nice we have a yeah. nurse okay. in fact we have two we have one in newcastle county and we have one that covers kent and Sussex county and they visit the patients okay is that what some of this money would help yes. underwrite the cost of that. Yes. Okay. It also helps with equipment. Okay. And we have these loan closets where okay. the patients can get equipment. Okay. Uh, so that they don't have to put out the money. Right. When Especially if they don't have health care or something right. like that. Right. Well, when we were going through it, we had the health care, but... It didn't cover everything. They would say uh, it's not necessary. Okay. Okay. So we would have to buy it. Okay. So this helps fill the gaps that yes, health care does. doesn't, yes. or if the person doesn't have health care. Exactly. All right. So the overall goal is to raise some money. And so do you have a goal for this year? 85000 85000 Okay. Last and year so, we did eighty. Okay. So if somebody's listening and they say, look, I would love to walk. I'm going to get my brother, my sister, my aunt, my uncle, or my whole family Okay, do they have to raise a minimum to be involved? No, they do no. not. No, so they could raise $5 or $5,000. Exactly. Okay, so they don't have to, if they're listening right now, they don't have to focus on any number than other than try. 
Exactly. Right. That's all we're asking. So what you're saying is if you would like to walk, mark that date down, September 12th. Get yourself together some friends, some family. Is there anything official they need to do? Do they need to go to a website and sign up or anything like that? They can they can register beforehand on the website, which is the it's Rehoboth Walk to Defeat ALS dot org. Okay. That's Rehoboth Walk to Defeat ALS dot org. They can sign up beforehand or they can come that morning. Uh, registration right starts at eight AM at the bandstand. Is this a rain or shine event? Yes. Okay. And mm -hmm. the other thing is so do, is there a pledge sheet they would print, or they just get pledges on their own? In other words, what do they do? do they, yeah, they, they they can get them on their own. Maybe they work somewhere, and they could go to their employer and say, listen, hey, if we raise $1,000, will you match it? Something right. like oh. that. Get everybody involved. Can corporations just make a donation if they want yes. to? Yes, they and can. And I guess can individuals make a donation? If yes. Oh, yes. All right, yes. and the donations, I would presume, are a tax deductible? Yes. yes, they are. Okay. Uh, of course, consult your tax assultant. Consultant. <laughs> assultant. Your tax assultant. <laughs> when you're paying taxes, you're being assaulted. So, right. it, it, you know, contact your tax consultant. We're not giving tax advice here today, but I think that's a disclaimer I'm supposed to say. <laughs> but anyway, um, so anyway, shape or form, little kids, big kids, you know, if they got a little um, – piggy bank or however they want to get involved mom dad if you want to think of some chores that your kids can do that you give them the money to do them that they would donate to this any way they can get creative get creative and uh, make this a big family event exactly. maybe make it an annual event or something like that a lot of people do yeah i guess if you're listening and you're visiting del marva and you want to mark that date down and come back because you're saying somebody can simply show up that morning exactly. now what time that morning would they what what's times everything eight o'clock eight o'clock in the morning and all okay. they do is register their name that's it that's it wow okay. and the walk itself begins at nine thirty. okay little festivities going on down there oh yeah the dj keeps them Keeps them hopping. He keeps them use, uh, keeps them jumping. He's okay. got the T-shirt game with balloons to see how many how many uh, balloons you can stuff into a shirt. He's got a little really? pedometers <laughs> that he has a little dance off. Okay. So it's just a good time. It's a we good time a for everybody. So, you know, so whether they raise money or not, make plans to at least attend the event September 12th, right downtown on the bandstand in Rehoboth. Right. And um, what else do we need to do? In other words, well, there there's a lot of things that we could go through, you know, like 75 years ago um, when Lou Gehrig contracted uh, right. this disease. You know, it's been all that time, and there hasn't been a cure or a reason for this. Wow. And just this week, the scientists have told us, in fact, it was Thursday, and it was on Good Morning America. Okay. Um, they have come up with something, and wow. they attribute all this to the ice bucket challenge and the the walks that have been held because they finally got enough money to do right more. awareness and funds. Right. Now yeah. Bill can explain a little bit about the. Um, Did you both found. do the ice bucket challenge? I haven't done it yet this year. I'm getting ready to do it. Yeah, this week. we're getting ready we're to do it in the next five it. minutes, maybe. We could. <laughs> right here if, live if, on Weller Does That right, right. If you want to join us, we'll do it. Yeah, uh, yeah. Well, I'll narrate it. <laughs> <laughs> no, you get to join. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, last uh, year, Pete Frates, who okay. is, has become synonymous, he was the one that founded the ALS Ice Bucket Challenge. Uh, he's dealing with ALS. He used to be a uh, Boston College star baseball player. Okay. And shortly after he graduated, he he developed ALS. And like the rest of us, we're not doctors, we're not scientists. We really don't have a hand in the cure. The only thing we can do is raise awareness, raise funds, right. provide the money. So they came up with the Ice Bucket Challenge. The year prior, during the same time frame, the association raised about $3 million. Okay. That goes towards research, it goes to, to equipment, computers so they can communicate, respirators, wheelchairs, ramps for their homes. So The nurse that visits? Yes. So they raised about $3 million. Well, Pete Frades came along, and during that time frame, they raised $115 million. And overall, so they've raised almost challenge. $200 million. Those of us that have been battling with the uh, – trying to get the awareness and funds, last year's – the only thing you can refer to it as a juggernaut. This thing was a boon for the ALS Association. A lot of the actors and stuff got involved in it. Mm -hmm. And it, it seems like 
they're so close. Wow. They're, they've been looking at a uh, decrease or a uh, some sort of uh, lack of production in protein because the person basically becomes paralyzed without the brain ever being uh, affected. So mentally, physically, um, mentally, emotionally, everything's still intact, but their body basically becomes paralyzed underneath them. How frustrating that must be. And they've actually, the research that came out on Thursday is not so much a uh, decrease in production as they're looking at a possibility that there's an overproduction of some sort of protein. Okay. So the hope is with us is they're close. Yeah. And, and every dollar makes a difference. Every exactly. and, and this ALS challenge has proved how beneficial the awareness, the funds. And the funds, yeah. <clears throat> All right. Well, website again? Uh, the website is rehobothwalktodefeatals.org. Okay. Uh, you can also find us on our home, on our uh, Facebook page, which is Rehoboth Beach Walk to Defeat ALS. All right. You can go there and get all the information. Do you mind if I give a few phone numbers? Yeah, go ahead. All right. If you happen to want to talk to Bill, Bill's number is 670-1759, 670-1759. Then if you want to talk to Mary Ann, it is um, 253-8. 555 253-8555. Then there's another lady involved named Mary Lou. My daughter. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's right. All right. And her number is 448-1504. 448-1504. Please consider getting involved. Consider making a pledge. Consider organizing a team or just take your family down. Make 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 a good good memory for you and your family. Everybody's invited. And also coming up coming up on uh, April 9th. April We're going to do our, our third Night of Hope benefit concert. Oh, where's that going to be? That's at the Milford uh, Senior, Senior Center. Center. Milford Senior, Senior Center, right downtown yep. there. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, right near Wall Service Center. Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. Yeah, All right, right. on the street. Yep. All right, well, I'm going to thank you both. Is there anything else you want to add? I will leave you some T-shirts, some wristbands. Okay. Uh, so people leave. can stop in Wellers and pick them up? Yep. yep. No charge? Mm -hmm. Free of no charge. charge. Free of charge. No all right. Well, folks, you heard it here first. And we want to we have thank free you gifts. so much for oh, you're allowing welcome. us. Here. You're welcome. And um, let's make sure we do this again sometime. Okay, we will. Okay, good luck to you both. Thank, thank you. you. All right, thank you for coming in. Uh -huh. Okay. So anyway, it's Jim Weller. You're listening to Weller Does Del Marva. And um, what would you just say? Huh? 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 <laughs> <laughs> I thought he said, oh, he's, That's it. he's simple. All right, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> All right, did I talk about the creative anchor? I haven't. You have not. Man, we are really coming down the home stretch on our new website. Brooks is wearing wait. he's wearing this young man out because what happens is Brooks talks to Jonathan. Mm -hmm. And next thing you know, Brooks has another idea or Jonathan has another idea. Jonathan Hazelwood you're Jonathan talking about. Jonathan Hazelwood, okay. the owner of the Creative Anchor. And so basically it all started, I've said it before, we thought about taking our current website and tuning it up. And then we got to talking and we said, you know what, let's just go ahead and start from scratch, build a brand new website because there's just some new platforms and new search abilities and just so many things that a new one would have to offer. So Jonathan made a deal with us and we got excited and then we started working on it. And then as we talk, we always come up with more ideas, new ideas. And it's so exciting. I, I, and I relate it to building a new building. We're building a new building, except this building is going to reach the whole entire world. So anyway, and then after he gets it done, then we've got to stock the shelves. We've got to put merchandise in there, on there, take pictures, and put everything in. But it's going to be so nice when it's done. And, of course, we do have a website now, which is wellers.com. But we're going to have a new and improved one here in the near future. But if you are listening and you own a business, whether it's a small one or a big one, or you just have an idea, or you need some help with anything creative, um, custom and handcrafted web designs is what he specializes in. Um, he can give you in-house technical support. He can help you with graphic design, social marketing, and things like that. Very knowledgeable. When you call him, you're going to deal with him. You're going to talk to him. He's the owner-operator of the business called TheCreativeAnchor.com, which, of course, his website is The Creative Anchor. I'm sorry, his business is called The Creative Anchor. His website is TheCreativeAnchor.com. Okay? Jonathan Hazelwood, 526-7250, 526-7250. He'll take good care of you. Give him a call and see what he can do for you. The store is busy. Hey there, young man. You want to talk on the radio with us? Okay. I think that was Mike Brittingham, the 
Mike Brittingham. Yeah. Okay? All right. He's probably here getting a donut or a trailer or a kayak. He what? looks like a kayak. Donut, donut trailer and kayak. Donut trailer and kayak. <laughs> All right. Well, anyway, uh, we have a lot going on. The store is open. Weller's Utility Trailers and Wall Service Center is open by now. Right. Yes. Josh should be there by now. If he's not there, call me, please. Yes. Tell <laughs> <laughs> Let me know. Let you know as soon as possible. All right, I'm sure he's there. What's that? 422-8110. 422-8110. WallsServiceCenter.com on, on the, the web. web. Yes, and you can uh, request an appointment right there. So just go right to WallsServiceCenter.com. Isn't that nice? So it's 10 it o'clock is. at night, and you realize, dag on it, i got to get something done to my vehicle, and let me just schedule it now. Yep. Oh. Whenever you want. Email Whenever comes to me, and uh, sometimes it wakes me up in the middle of the night when you do it. Sometimes it doesn't, but <laughs> don't worry about it. Just Have send you got a the, Facebook page? We do. Just okay. uh, check out. Just search for Wall Service Center. On, and how do you spell that? W-H? W-A-L-L-S. Oh, okay. Service Center. So it's like the word walls. Yes, just like the wall. <laughs> walls. 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 Walls Service Center. Service Center. No Z. No Z. And no H. Right. All right. All right. So anyway... You're listening to Weller Does Del Marva. We are busy today. We're going to have a good day. Brooks is on vacation. We've uh, that's beat, yeah, that's beat how you knew it was bad. going to be a good day. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Jason has ordered those glasses. The festivities have begun. <laughs> the festivities have begun. Yeah. So uh, well, what Brooks did is he left his computer logged on, mm-hmm. and he told Earl that his computer was broke. So he's getting uh. <laughs> him to ring everything up under under Brooks. Okay. So. Anyway, so we're having a good time. I'm real excited about next week's show. Mm-hmm. Um, it's at Jack and Susan Riddle's house. Yeah, it's going to be good. Okay. I guess we would call it their estate. Estate, yes. It's at their mm-hmm. estate. Okay. Mm-hmm. And um, it's in Seaford, and we are inviting people to come out and literally watch Dry Zone. Um, I don't know what the word is. Raise, lift, straighten, level, or make more better. This concrete situation. Mm-hmm. It's really been worrying Jack. Um, I think he's lost some sleep over it. And um, anyway, so we're going to get it all straight next weekend. That's good. And we're really, gonna it it's going to be straight for real. It's going to be straight, right. yes. It's just hard to believe, isn't it? It is. Right. You have a pretty good grip on it. But, but I'm pretty sure they can do it. Oh, they're absolutely positive they can do it. And they've got this big truck they've just fixed I'm up. Thinking, and it's got all this equipment in it. And I'm thinking his driveway is smaller than Route 1. Since they lifted Route 1, they were successful with that. His driveway right. is probably a little smaller than Route 1. Right. Well, it's his sidewalk that we're doing. Sidewalk. So it's sidewalk. probably smaller. Even smaller. Yes. The sidewalk should be smaller than Route 1. Mm-hmm. <laughs> all right. Listen, I want to mention one little thing. You see these little lights? Yeah, I see them. They're the coolest little thing. You are in the flashlight business, aren't you? I am in the you? flashlight business. It's just a little headband, a little stretchy headband, and it has a light on it. It's an LED headlight. Wow, how appropriately named. It's an LED headlight. So you put it around your head, and so if you're, like, tinkering with something or working on something Mm -hmm. and you need a little bit of light, and you just turn that, and the light comes on, and they're only $2 a piece. Right, it's hands-free. Hands-free. Once you turn them on. Right, hands-free. So you could even use it driving down the road if you had to. That's right, and you won't um, have to worry about getting a ticket. That's right, because it's hands-free. Right. Two dollars, all right? And so then, you can see what you're doing on your cell phone in the dark. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't get caught. We get this lighting up the inside of your vehicle. <laughs> Say, officer, I was just using my hands-free, hands-free. LED headlamp. Right. All right, are we going to take another break? It's coming up. What's up with Fran and these breaks? I know. All right, we'll be right back with more of Weller Does Del Marva. Back to school time for area students. Volunteers are needed at the Food Bank of Delaware's Milford Branch to help prepare and pack meals for kids at risk of after school and weekend hunger. Volunteering is a fun and easy way to give back to the community and you can make a difference in the lives of Delaware children. To learn more or to sign up, please visit fbd.org forward slash volunteer in Milford or call 302-393-2011. Is your family in need of free meals? Dial 211 for Delaware. 211, the state's health and human services hotline. 
Looking for quality Serta beds made right here in the U.S.? Great local service and the best prices around? Hi, my name's Chris Adams, owner of Mattress Peddlers, your local family-owned Serta retailer. Come see us in the Peddlers Village Shopping Center on Route 24 in Lewis so we can match one of our 25 Serta models to meet your needs and budget. If you like free, we have free delivery, free frame, free setup, and free takeaway with the purchase of any set. Visit our website, mattresspeddlers.com, or stop in today and sleep on a better bed tonight. CBS News Update. An incident on a train out of Amsterdam could have been much worse, but action was taken, perhaps saving many lives. Here's reporter Larry Miller. Hailed as American heroes, three childhood buddies on a European vacation. When the shooting started on the Paris-bound train, Alex Scarlato said he knew what to do. Looked over at Spencer and said, Let's go, go, and he jumped up, and I followed behind him. Scarlatos, Anthony Sadler, and Spencer Stone, who suffered blade wounds, disarmed the terrorist, then knocked him out. We were scared for sure, but, I mean, adrenaline mostly just took over. The three, with help from a British passenger, got the 26-year-old suspect down. Spencer Stone, who's deployed to the Azores with the Air Force, suffered box cutter wounds to his neck and thumb, bad enough to require surgery, but... He's okay. He's gotten calls from his two buddies, Alex Scarlatos and Anthony Sadler, who say Stone is in good spirits. CBS News Update. I'm Dave Barrett. When you're backed up, call Central Backhoe. That's Central Backhoe Services. Totally won't flush. You need to call us at Central Backhoe Services. We'll pump your septic, repair and install. When something doesn't smell right, you know who to call. Get a good flow from Central Backhoe. That's Central Backhoe Services. When it's a no-go, call Central Backhoe. Central Backhoe Services. It could be a simple septic repair or maybe something a little more complex. No matter what your situation is, Central Backo Services, your full-service, licensed, experienced wastewater system professional, can help. Contact them at 398-6420 or visit their website at centralseptic.com. Central Backo Services, locally owned and operated, serving Delaware's septic and excavation needs for over 20 years. When it's a no-go, call Central Backo. Central Backo Services. Next Radio presents Live FM Radio versus Buffering. Oh, this will be awesome. Come on, you big stud. Wait, how are, you, how are you getting that? This is live with my next radio app I downloaded today. No, really, stop. I'm not there yet. I'm still hearing the announcers babbling on about the track conditions. Go, go, go. Yay! Don't let live pass you by. Get the next radio app now. It's your favorite local FM stations over the air. No stream required. And when the data network goes down, you can still listen, no problem. Don't miss your favorite sporting events, music, news, whatever. Live as it happens. Yeah. Great. Skip the buff up for skip buffering and get the free next radio app today. Next radio. Whether you're renovating, buying, or selling a home, one important step to take is to have the property inspected for things like asbestos, mold, mildew, and other contaminants that can seriously affect a home's indoor air quality and structure. Call the experts at Sussex Environmental Consultants. They'll be able to identify the problem and create a remediation plan specifically tailored to suit your needs. Call 302-947-1810 or visit online at sussexenvironmental.com. The 5th Annual Help Our Kids Radiothon to benefit Nemours A.I. DuPont Hospital for Children is coming September 9th and 10th. The Winter Automotive Group and the Hynansky family continue to generously support Nemours A.I. DuPont Hospital for Children with the help of their loyal customers. Every time you buy a winter new or used auto, you help them give more to the kids. Thank you for helping Winter make a difference. Stop by Winter Subaru Volkswagen or Winter Ford and Hyundai in Dover or online at winterauto.com. Com. At McFoy Refrigeration, all they handle are commercial accounts. Heating, air conditioning, ventilation, refrigeration, the design, the installation, and the repair for your business. Every customer gets attention the day they call. Well, Craig McFoy of McFoy Refrigeration, what if a business had equipment installed or purchased from another company? We will handle the warranty problems. We'll, we'll take care of our replacement.
replacement parts or any service that's needed on those pieces of equipment and to handle all the paperwork. And we'll do that with any manufacturer of equipment, both heating, air conditioning, or refrigeration. And whether you're servicing walk-in freezers, reach-ins, ice machines, deli cases, air conditioning, heating, or ventilation, business can't afford to be down. Our business has, again, since creation of the business, we've given same-day service. doesn't matter what time of year it is, we are, we're, we'll be there that day, and we'll take care of your problem. McFoy Refrigeration, 424-8335. The following program is a paid commercial presentation. The comments, views, and opinions expressed do not necessarily reflect the views of the staff, management, or advertisers of Delaware 1059. All right, all right, all right, everybody. We are back. We are live. It's Weller's Utility Trailers uh, is where the show is. Uh, we've still got some donuts left. If you're listening and you're in the area and you'd like a free donut, cup of coffee, or a little container of juice, or if you want to stop by with the kids, we'll try to feed everybody. Uh, that's while supplies last. But uh, up till 1 o'clock today, we're open, and um, we're coming in the end of the month. Uh, next week is the actual end of the month. Well, actually, it goes into the next week. The 31st is the following Monday. But we need to move some trailers, move some merchandise for, like, everybody else. We set certain goals and stuff like that. Fran, I guess you can um, <laughs> kill the music. Kill the music. Uh, thank you. Go. And so, anyway, but um, we are here. It's Weller's Utility Trailers. You're listening to Weller Does Del Marva. We've had a lot of. You got tired of seeing me dancing, didn't you? Well, I've never seen that before. (laughs) Brooks doesn't dance when he's here. (laughs) So I can see you enjoyed that song. But anyway, and how did Fran know you were dancing? He's watching it. Weller does Delmarva.com because we have a live video feed there. That's how a live video feed. That's right. Okay. All right. So anyway, I want to make sure everybody knows we do buy used trailers. So if you're out there and you're listening and you have a trailer and you just want to turn it into cash. Bring it on by, let the guys take a look at it, and uh, we will buy it off of you. Also, we sell things on consignment. So if you have something you want to sell, like maybe a vehicle or a piece of equipment, we might might be interested in selling it um, for you. we got a lot of visibility out here. We do a ton of advertising, and a lot of people ride by here every day. Also, I mentioned earlier, if you just give us a call on the phone and say, hey, I'd like one of those LED flashlights absolutely free and no purchase necessary, uh, we would like you to physically call 337-8228 and then just say, hey, my name is John Doe, and I'd like one of those, and I'll be in sometime between now and next Saturday to pick it up. We'll give you one absolutely free, no purchase necessary. And I told you we got a little bit of uh, donuts left as well as the coffee, juice, and so on. I got the specials on the three trailers. Uh, evidently, we've got somebody on their way for one of the 16-footers now. So we are selling trailers. I'm always looking for new friends on Facebook. i got to mention that. Um, it's Jim Weller on Facebook. Jim Weller on Facebook. Now, when you look on there, there's more than Jim Weller. So I happen to be the one from Delaware. And we also have Weller's uh, Sheds and Carports. We'd love it if you would like that page. We also love it if you would like the Weller's Utility Trailers page. And then we have a Weller Does Delmarva page, too. So uh, we have a lot of Facebook activity. And then Wall Service Center is on Facebook. Is mm-hmm. that a likes page? Yeah, it's a like page. So yep. you, would you like people to like that? I would like people to like the like page. All right, so just get on Facebook and like all these pages and friend me. That's right. Is that right? Sure. All right. So have these three trailers. I just want to mention them one more time. One is a 2014 16-foot landscaper. These specials are only good today till 1 o'clock unless we sell out of them before then. But it's a 2014 brand-new 16-foot landscaper. It has two axles, and both axles have brakes. And I say that really clearly because some people sell trailers, and the trailer, well, we even sell them. We have 16-foot landscapers that only have one brake axle. So this one actually has two brake axles. Uh, It has a ramp gate, treated wood floor, and so on. We had it on sale, just trying to move it along, $22.97. I decided, you know what, today I'm going to drop the price, another hundred and some bucks, to $21.88. $21.88, and just to sweeten the deal just a little bit more, I'm going to hand you a brand new 4,000-watt champion generator in the box, a $520 retail value that's absolutely free. So you get the trailer for $21.88, and you get the generator for free. Then we've got a 6x12 landscape trailer, ramp gate, 15-inch tires, um, 2015 model. On sale for thirteen ninety seven. Dropping the price today till one to twelve eighty eight. Twelve hundred eighty eight bucks. Best deal around. Nobody's got a better deal. But on top of that, 
we're going to hand you a 1250 watt generator and there's a there's a motive here we're trying to get everybody to get a generator it is storm season and so we thought what the heck let's get everybody a generator they don't want to buy them let's just give the blessed things away so with uh, the purchase of either one of those trailers there's a free generator then we have the one 2014 six by ten enclosed trailer with a ramp door and a side door we're selling it brand new at a used trailer price 2297 for a brand new six by ten enclosed you can look online you can look on the guide you can look on the web nobody's got a better deal than that 2297 for a six by ten enclosed trailer Brandon are you going to talk with us for a minute I am. okay so this would be Brooks's brother Brandon good morning Brooks's brother Brandon BBB Brooks's BBB. brother Brandon is that right that's correct all right and you are now in charge since Brooks is not here today I guess that's what you would say <laughs> okay um, and has Jason told you about these new glasses everybody's going to be required to wear <laughs> yeah we were talking about it yesterday uh, in the meeting and and how the brain yeah adjusted after 20 some days that's kind of crazy and how quick it adjusts back yeah and it's just no different than you know if you're trying to kick a bad habit right you know if I was trying to quit buying so much stuff I could work on that and work on that and then be doing real good and revert back so quickly very quickly you know so it is amazing so mm -hmm. um, anyway um, holy mackerel you just gave me this thing um, and evidently, we need to sell some trailers. We do. <laughs> You've got me upset now. He hands oh, me sorry. a note, Colin. Mm -hmm. I said, tell me how many trailers we've sold this month compared to last year this month. And now you're saying, why did you tell me this? Yeah, why in the world did you tell me this? <laughs> why is business so bad? It's all that talk about the presidential election. It does nothing but turn people off. It does. I mean, it, I hate it because we've got this from now till the all election. Until the election. Yeah, folks, newsflash. The economy is turning. Just uh, talking about it. Yeah, they, they should not be allowed to campaign, but just about 15 days before the election. Yeah. And whoever can get the most campaigning done in that period of time. But see, the election's a big money generator. Like if you were in the advertising business, oh, my gosh, it's a big revenue source. Mm -hmm. You know, people donate money to candidates, and then the candidates spend it on advertising to get – a position that you know they do whatever they do once they get there. I think one of the candidates um, actually has sponsored a NASCAR race car and really? has his name on a race car. No kidding. Mm -hmm. Who? I, if I'm you allowed, not. Uh, is he allowed, allowed to talk to about it. a politician on the air? Sure. <laughs> Why not? Are you sure? I don't know. Yeah. Uh, anyways, it's it's Trump. <laughs> He's sponsoring uh, a NASCAR. Oh, you can't say Trump. Oh no! Oh, you can't say Donald no. Trump. <laughs> Re rewind the tape and please. Yeah, it out rewind quick. the stream. <laughs> So Donald Trump has sponsored a NASCAR That's car. That's what I heard. I wow. Oh, now it's it. a rumor. Yeah, it's just Went a rumor. from being a fact a second ago. Right. Well, this is professional radio, Brandon. We that's only deal in facts here. <laughs> it was yeah, a reliable that's right. source. <laughs> we never make anything up. <laughs> yeah. Only when we're talking. Exactly. <laughs> All right. So Donald Trump supposedly is going to drive in a NASCAR race. No. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That would okay. be a funny generous. Uh, so how's the trailer sales, Jim? <laughs> Shoo. All right. So far this month, we've only sold 43 trailers. Now, how am I going to live on this? Mm. So far this week, we've sold 17. Now, we'll probably sell 5 or 10 today. Yeah. 17 and 43 is what? 80? I'm horrible at math. 60. <laughs> 60. 60 trailers. Last month, we sold 94. And this month, last year, we sold 80. you got to be kidding me. I yeah. knew business being good was too good to be true. First part of the year, we were smoking. Business was good, making money, hiring more help. Now, because of the daggone presidential election, the economy is going to change. Well, we're going to do our best. I'm now depressed, officially. I'm going to need another donut to get over this. <laughs> okay? All right, so what can we do? Just cut deals? Yeah, that's exactly what we need to do. Give away more generators? Sure. Next, we'll be giving away kayaks. <laughs> and give away free help. Uh, right. Send, send one of your employees with the of a trailer. Oh, yeah, <laughs> to kayak with you. Yeah. Right? In other words, you get you a get friend. A friend. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to give you a free friend with the purchase of a trailer. There you go. Okay. All right. Well, anyway, so what we're saying is, and when's the end of the month? Next week. All right. So here we go. It gets real. Actually, it's the it's 31st. Like, it's yeah. a Monday. We don't have to get serious till then, right? Yeah, we'll wait till Saturday. Next right. Week. It's like building in quality. Let's do it at the end. Yeah. In other words, you know, let's not worry about having a good month till the up. end of the month. <laughs>
All right. So anyway, we need to sell some trailers, folks. Gee whiz. I felt better before I knew these figures. That's all I'm going to harp on for the rest of the month. All right. So anyway, how are we going to do it? Did you um, did you guys actually get three tractor trailer loads of trailers yesterday? We did. I saw them pictures, and I thought you just didn't post them until yesterday. And I waited. I, I usually collect them over okay. the month. And right. <laughs> no, so we, in one day, we got three truck loads of trailers. We did. Because, folks, you may not know this, but this is the time of year that we do our buying. From now till the end of the year, we like to buy every bit of inventory we're going to need mm -hmm. for next year. Right. That is our mental strategy, which probably means we've got way too much of everything. And yeah. if we don't, we will in 90 days. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. and ultimately, that kind of works well for the customer because, you know, we have a lot of everything and we don't want to hold on to it forever. So what, are, what else Doesn't are we our do? average customer travel 100 miles or greater to deal yes. here? Yes. So more than half our business is, is from 100 miles away. Right. Okay. So – with that said, what we hear all the time when people get here is, wow. Right. You have wow. a lot of trailers. I've never <laughs> seen this many trailers in my life anywhere. Right. And our and goal is to make it make it an easy process for a customer. I mean, anytime you buy a vehicle or a trailer, it's all, there's always that little bit of tension. Right. There you is. Because they're spending money. Right. 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 So, you know, we want to make sure that we have a wide variety of good selection in stock for you so you can get in the trailer that you need not right. what we want to sell you. Correct, because we sell 15, 20 brands of trailers. Right. And so, you know, if you were to go to a smaller trailer dealer, they might sell one brand of open trailers. Correct. And the disadvantage to that is you don't, you're not given the opportunity to make an educated decision. Right. Or you got to make an educated decision based on a very limited amount of inventory. Right. And 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 if you're ones that you know that like to really shop around and stuff like that if you only have one or two trailers to choose from it's kind of hard now you, gotta, a lot of ride. now you gotta ride around and call right. and, and stuff like that where here one property we've got three four five different things laid out right in front of you the same style trailer right so if you want to look at a from. six by twelve enclosed trailer we've got it in numerous brands we've mm -hmm. got it in this height this height or this height right with this many different options different payloads different things added to it um there's and, a lot to it, isn't and there? we've got a shop right here. So if you say, "Hey, you know, I need four D rings, and I like this trailer over here, and it doesn't have D rings in it," right? Or I need four more, and I need them here, here, and here. Correct, correct. Right. We can, uh, you know, moderately customize the trailer. I saw for a trailer you. in here the other day getting ladder racks put on the top of it. Mm -hmm. I guess we do a lot of that. We do and ladder so, racks, D rings, E track, motorcycle wheel chocks, a little bit of all everything. kinds of stuff. Yeah. Weed eater racks. Weed eater racks. That's mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. All right. So all they gotta do is call us. Yep, call and, us, come um, in. Best things to come in because you know, it's easier in. to look at a trailer when you're here than it well, is. Well, it's easier to receive payment when you're standing here. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're Weller's Utility Trailers, Route 13 in Bridgeville, 337-8228. We really sincerely, we actually do have some fun, and uh, we try to make a little money, and um, we try to do a good job for our customers. Gosh, I've been in business 41 years. I really think about that more and more because I'm getting older now, mm -hmm. okay? Um, and I just really start thinking about that is a long time to be in business. It is. It is. It I'm is. thinking, how much longer can I go? That's why I need you guys to take this place over. I'm ready. All right, you're ready. Well, I'm going to let you. Okay. All right, anything else? That's it. All right, well, thank you very much, Brandon, for you're the news flash about Donald Trump and so <laughs> on and so forth. So I'm just waiting for the day Donald Trump's on Weller does Delmarva, okay? I've got questions, and I bet he's, <laughs> he's got, got answers. answers. Right. So anyway, I want to talk about another one of our sponsors. Speaking of our property here, if you have rode by over the past few weeks, we have turned our lawn care project over to Jerry Santoro, Jerry's Lawn Care. He sends a team in here. They cut the grass. They weed whack. They spray where the weeds are, and it looks fantastic. We tried to do it ourselves. We'd work on it for a few hours, get busy and stop, and next thing you know, the end of the week came and we weren't done. So if you need any landscaping needs, if you need your yard, you know, fertilized or lined or reseeded or any of that, if you need some paver work, this is something Jerry's like takes real passion. He likes it. He likes designing, he tells me. So if you need a paver project done, maybe you just need a sidewalk or you have a sidewalk and you want to line it in pavers or you want your whole driveway done in pavers or you want a patio build or whatever, any type of paver project, and you really don't know what you want or whatever, you don't have to go somewhere and price the pavers and then get somebody to give you a price on the labor. You talk to one person, Jerry, and you give him a call, 
He will talk to you about the pavers. He will help you design it. He will sell you the pavers. He will install them. A to Z, the whole project, one person, Jerry's Lawn Care. And he actually sells E.P. Henry Stone products. Uh, estimates are free. He's been in business over 10 years. He's actually certified by the ICPI. That's the Interlocking Concrete Pavement Institute. He also sells and installs irrigation systems. So if you have one or it's not working just right or you need it serviced, you want to add on to it, you want some drip lines or whatever, he can help you out. And when it comes time to winterize your system, he can also do that for you. It's Jerry's Lawn Care. Phone number is 363-6025-363-6025. It's jlc-llc.com. That's www.jlc-llc.com. Com. He'll take good care of you. A real good guy. We are open. We're busy. I see people out here. Things are happening. Next week's show, we talked about Dry Zone is going to literally be ra- raising and straightening a sidewalk, which is just amazing to us. And if you are listening, you are invited. This is your invitation to come with us and uh, see this event in person in Seaford if you want. And then the next week, Colin and I are doing the show in Ellendale. They're having uh, like a little town wide festival celebration we're going to be broadcasting live there it doesn't actually start till 10 that morning is that right right i think but the show we're doing the show from seven to nine right we'll be the ones kicking the event off that's right that's right so uh, delmar we're kicking off the big event in allendale yep and um so we got that going on i mentioned these duffel bags and uh they i'm going to hold it up for the camera 28 inches long a little bit over two feet long nice little duffel bag see you mike um nice little duffel bag and um we're selling them for nine dollars and ninety-seven cents. So if you just need something to stick some stuff in, or throw it in your trunk, or just have it around, or whatever, there it is, right there. You know, uh, in store preparedness, there's, they say you should have like a bag, you know, ready to go if right. you had to evacuate or mm-hmm. take off or get out of there or something like that. You know, that would be a nice little bag for that. Nine dollars and ninety-seven cents. Bug out bag. Bug out bag. Yeah. If you had to bug out. And uh, some storms may be coming, may not. We did put all of our generators on sale. You've heard it from me because. I tell you about it every week, how many I got. But, folks, in all reality, we have almost 600 generators in stock, which is great. It's a great number from the almost 1,000 that we had in stock, okay? (laughs) But, you know, we need to get rid of them. They're not getting any prettier, and they're not getting any younger. And so what I did was I put them on sale. In fact, I've got a big distributor in South Carolina that contacted me and wants a list of how many of what I have, and they may take them all, which I would like that, in other words. so. But a lot of them are below so what you're saying cost. is if you need one, get in here now to well, get one because you, you might not have them for long. Right. I'll give you an example. Um, I was up to Amazon the other day, and I took a tour of the fulfillment center. Mm-hmm. And I was also, you know, just looking online at generators. But I have one. It's a brand called Champion. It's a 4,000-watt generator. It's actually the one I would give away if you bought a 16-foot trailer. But that generator on Amazon, which is a big company, and then another big company everybody's heard of is Walmart. The generator is $331 on Walmart's website and on Amazon.com. Right here in little old Bridgeville, Delaware, I've got that generator for $277. Not a big deal, but it's a $60 savings. You don't have to worry about it being shipped to you. You can actually come right here and pick it up. That's a 4,000-watt champion generator. Then we have a 1,250-watt generator, just a little thing. For 117 bucks, and then we go into a much bigger generator. This is a Briggs and Stratton. It's called a Storm Ready Unit, um, 6,250 watt generator. So it's a big one, and it actually has a couple tires on it, a little handle, so it's easy to maneuver around. And um, it is on sale now. This thing here, this is way below dealer cost. So if you're listing and you sell Briggs and Stratton generators, you will recognize real, real quick. You can't buy them for this. Five hundred and forty-seven dollars. It's about a nine hundred and some dollar generator. I've got about ninety of them, and I need them to go away. It's that simple. It's just that simple. Five hundred and forty-seven dollars. So, if you need a generator, we have other shapes, other sizes, other brands. Just give us a call three three seven eight two two eight. Of course, you can go on our website, take a look at that, and um, see what we have there. I did ask everybody to friend me on Facebook. I'm the Jim Weller there, so feel friend, feel free to send me a friend request. Also, you've got some businesses I'd like you to consider liking their pages on Facebook. One would be Collins Business Wall Service Center. Um, then there is Weller Sheds and Carports. Then there's Weller's Utility Trailers. And then there's Weller Does Del Marva. So if you could like all of them, uh, it's just click, click, click. 
and uh, then click on get notifications so you know what we're doing um, we would appreciate that and other than that I am feeling good about the store being so busy today uh, we've started opening at 7 only on the days that we uh, do the show here and every time we do we have people come in and we get some business done before 9 o'clock so it's Weller's Utility Trailers if you've never been to our website it's wellers.com there's a lot of ads on there I'll just thumb through some of them real quick but one of the things in the ads that we had this has been a very big hit and it seems like a silly thing but it's women's socks brand new different colors and styles available 50 cents a pair and three pairs for one dollar three pairs of women's socks for one dollar that's a very good deal we have some hitches that have been around for a while they're brand new in the box they're a brand called quality s and I've got that's a class three hitch and if we happen to have what your vehicle needs we don't have them all it's usually a little bit older vehicles because I have had them for a while but they're only 5750 for a class three hitch 5750 now that's also a cheap boat anchor if you happen to need one for that then we have the mailboxes that I ran across I don't even know how I got these things brand new mailboxes they're actually postmaster approved plastic mailboxes for 10 bucks so hmm. um, whether yours got tore up or you think yours is going to get tore up you never have too many extra mailboxes especially at ten dollars wow wow yeah so you brought the postmaster over had him look everything Every over one of them checked the hinges the the latch i don't know how they got postmaster approved oh, okay. but it says it in the ad so um it must be true <laughs> must be true must be true. Truth in advertising hey here's something we got a locking gun case 53 inch locking aluminum gun case uh, you see these things, 70, 80 bucks, mm -hmm. 47, 50. Wow. I Good could deal. sell two for 100. Wow, you could. I could. All right. And somebody could anything? pay less for that somebody here. Somebody could pay less. Got the free flashlight if you call 337 8228. Anything going on you want to mention before we get done? No, I don't think so. I want to thank you for helping us. Oh, no problem. Okay. Um, you're just a blessing to be around, wealth of information, and you're a good company. Oh, well, thank, thank you. you. I appreciate yeah. that. And, Thanks for uh, allowing me to help you. Yep. And we're going to be together again on the 5th. That's right. And um, anything else? I can't think of anything else. I'll tell you one more thing I have. Okay. You know how a lot of people like to talk trash? Mm-hmm. You know? Brandon was almost doing it in here. We have a trash pump. Okay. Okay? Mm -hmm. So if you know somebody that likes to talk trash or whatever, this is a gasoline-powered trash pump. It's actually a 2-inch trash pump. It's actually a water pump is what it is. So if you happen to need, I mean, I saw some video the other day where Dover got rain, mm -hmm. and they had flash flooding. Right. And the, the, the I trash mean, this pump, is where something like this would come in so handy. Trash pump is made to pump dirty water, which may right. have some debris in it, leaves. Right, out of a and, ditch or right. out of a, along a gutter or something like that. And they're normally like $350, $400. We got them for $225. Are well, we out of time? We are out of time. Thank you, Fran. Thank you, everybody, for listening. It's WellerDoesDelmarva.com. If you want to watch the show online, God bless you. Have a good weekend. I'll see you next week.